Boom. What is up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of From Pennies to Power. We show the true potential of the cardboard pennies we like to purchase. Got some returning guests, new guests, the whole nine yards. It's going to be fun. It's not pauper commander, but it is casual. We have some pauper splashing in here, though, so it's going to be tons and tons of fun. As you know, we're going to jump right into the games themselves. So we're going to go around the corners, state who you are, shout out whatever you want to shout out. You're more than welcome to do the whole nine yards. State who you're playing, why you're playing, talk about any rule zeros. You're more than welcome to do the whole everythings. And then we'll get right into the game after randomizing. So, Lobbert, whenever you are ready, break it down. Okay. Um, so, I'm Lobbert. I am a popper commander uh, YouTuber. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Lobbert8. Um, today, I am playing uh, Urza, Chief Artificer. Um, it's a 4-5 for 6 with affinity for artifact creatures. Artifact creatures you control at Venice. And at the beginning of my end step, I create a current struct. Um, this... This one, I've read online that it's not as strong as the, the one it was printed with, uh, Mishra. But my experience has been it hasn't been fair in all of the, the pre-con commander games I've played. Um, <laughs> but I haven't played that many. So, uh, but yeah, that's me. Sweet. All right, and Meg? I'm Megan. I'm the creator of Infinite Tokens Dry Erase Tokens. You may have seen the cards around. We've got cards, counters, and the new tags. And also coming soon, deck box labels. Ooh, don't give me te uh, tease me with those. I'm excited <laughs> so I about use that. to label all of my decks. So, and today I'm going to be playing Davros, Dalek Creator. I haven't played it before. I just picked up the deck. I sleeved it earlier. These sleeves are very slippery. I will probably knock over my library <laughs> at some point or drop things. And so I'm hopefully going to make some Dalek tokens. And also, if you haven't seen hashtag InfinitoKentober, check that out. It's a challenge for the month of October with a different token prompt each day, and people have been having a lot of fun with it. There's been a lot of cool art people have made, so hmm. so check out hashtag InfinitokenTober. Great. Uh, I'm Buddyfish, uh, but that's what I go by online. My name is Brendan. Um, I am a PDH grinder, if you can call me that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, um, so I just, I, I, I kind of lurk in the PDH. Of course, I don't say anything, but I'm always watching. Um, we have a pretty small, I'm from down in Maryland, we have a pretty small PDH scene. We're very dedicated, and we do a lot of, like, brewing, staying up to, like, 2 or 3 in the morning, thinking about, like, whether or not you should actually be on Brain Spoil or not. Um, and I am here with, for, with PDH. Um, I'm playing Messenger Falcons. It's uh, two, one hybrid blue-green and a white for a 2-2 flyer. It's a bird, which is very important. And when it comes to the battlefield, it draws a card. That's it. And this is like my little baby deck. Um, I love it so much. I love my silly little bird. Um, and that's what we're going to be playing. Heck yeah. And birds can do work. It's simply put that the flicker birds, birds are crazy. Birds they are crazy. do some like serious work. So even though it may be a pauper deck, it's still going to, you got to watch out for these things. All right. I am playing Tago Iki Tiki. It is about making rocks and golems. Uh, this is what helped me transition from EDH to Pauper. So it is EDH legal because both the commanders are legendary. But this is the very first one I have built. The entire deck is signed by tons and tons of people in, in the community and all the creators and everything like that from one of the first conventions I had gone to uh, with the deck. So basically it means a lot to me because like, basically everyone is here with me at the same time as I play. So I, I, I like it a lot. All right, so we're going to randomize it four times. One, two, three, and four. All right, so that will be our order. So Meg, whenever you're ready, you can start us off. I'm going to drop return. I will play. Play. I know, crazy start. <laughs> uh, I'll draw. We'll go for a plane, uh, snow covered planes, and I'll pass. Let's do an exotic orchard. And I'm just going to be cycling an Ash Baron's, um, but then I'll pass. All right, I'm going to draw. I'm going to do a rugged Highland tap, gain one life. And I will pass turn. Draw for turn. Play a Dragon Skull Summit. Comes in untapped because I have a mountain. Pay two to play. Where did it go? Talisman of Dominance. And then pass. Uh, draw. Go. Uh, Snow Covered Island. Play a Escape Familiar. Um, it's a 03 wall with. Green and blue spells cost one less. A very good start. I, for I you. cast. Not everyone's just mine. <laughs> spell table actually read it. For me, a lot of a lot of the cards I click on are, end up being plateau and taiga, 
which I feel is a subset of what Watsi's trying to do to us. <laughs> I'm just gonna yeah, go. always planes yeah. or some kind of like white mana thing. Yep, very common for it. I'm gonna play a steel overseer. And then pass. Alright, untap the road. To float what was that, buddy? Red. What's it stealing? You said it's a steel overseer? <laughs> <laughs> Cycle Forgotten Cave. Five, six, seven, eight. I will do Gruel Turf, Bouncing the Highland. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I will discard the Highland. Untap. We'll draw a card. I will play a Darkwater Catacombs. What did I just draw? Let's see. Interesting. So I'm going to let's see. Sorry. All right. Sorry. Just one second. <laughs> like, wait a minute. What can I play? I'm just still. The cards are still so new to me. All the signatures on Togo and Hitchtech are really sick from far away. It just looks like like lightning or something. So yeah, this is from Brad and what he, the art that he did. Oh. Yeah, so Pretty you'll nice, see Brad. he combined the two together so it's one single scene yeah. between the two of them. Yeah, and then he signed the backsides. All right, the Weeping Angel, which has such badass art. <laughs> the, the angels creep me out. Past They're so creepy. Yeah. <laughs> and I do next to nothing. Um, I'm just Please going to here. play this Simic Growth Chamber, pick up my planes, and that's it. Looking a lot like 60 card familiars. Got a follow from Carnathian. 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 Thank you for the follow. Spider of Industry. I am so close to 500. I am, what, 14 away, I think I am? Yeah, 14 away. So, almost there. When opponent Where's our signet? A creature spell. Uh, relic. He goes away. That'll pass. I'm not here. LOL. <laughs> That's great. All right. I'm going to play a forest. Tap two and play Tago. So two two Gabo. Uh, when a land enters the battlefield, I make a rock token. The rock token has pay one to equip it. Pay one and tap that creature and throw the rock at somebody, and it deals two damage to any target. And I will yeah. pass after that. Rock. I am obsessed with Tago. <laughs> Way more than any other player, probably. <laughs> okay, so that's me. Yep. Comes back in. Draw a card. Play an Island. All the right colors. Blue, black, red. Yep. Davros, Dalek Creator. Man. Dobby's out. Uh, this I made so you can take the box that it came in. Got that. It's just cut out from it. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> Got a nice shiny Some... that I can use for uh, the commander. And I like it better than the thick thing it comes with. Oh, the, 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 that one looks way, way. The, what, like, the one from the box looks so much better. This looks so yeah. much prettier. Like, wow. Like and there was another one that's like an actual card. Yeah, like, like the cardboard one. And then. Then there's that one right there, the other one that's like... There's the actual the... card and then now you can have a third one. Yeah, the actual card's like that weird uh, dark etched color thing. No, that looks fantastic. Chris, you're at the most life right now. Just be so. Flying. Oops, I didn't measure. Let's flying. Uh, I will take two. All right. I said th three and a half. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, but unfortunately, I did not deal three damage. <laughs> Quite fair. That changes a lot. Um, I'm probably All right, just turn supposed to rant. Uh, I'll play uh, the planes. Tap here for a green. I'll cast a farce. I'll go and is it all right if I go search that like at the end of the turn? So hey, yeah, 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 um, I'll then just cast the messenger falcons off my floating one from here. I'm gonna find I think blue green land off the far seek and then i'm done after that can okay. you guys hear me better now or do i sound the same am i quiet for some reason you're fine no on the chat i turned it up 25 percent because oh, okay. they said she was a little too quiet all right much better all right you good and stuff i'm exhaling a card out of buddy's graveyard with relic no um, my far seek i'm also going to be putting a counter on steel overseer see the Oprah steel stealer stole your far seek he looked oh. far away and stole it. Yeah, he stole my... How am I <laughs> supposed to seek now? Um, and I'm a draw card the Falcon. I'm going to be losing a life off of Spire of Industry to play Doctor Spy Network. Uh, at the beginning of my upkeep, if I control an artifact, create a 1-1 one, one flying thopter, and then when one or more artifact creature I control deals combat damage to a player, I draw a card, which I really want to do, but I'm going to I'm gonna try... Uh, Chris, I'm sending a 2-2 your way. 
I'll take the two because I'm not like, getting rid of Tago. <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, he just said how much he loves Tago. Yeah. I'll use that against him. <laughs> Tago's not um, leaving just yet. <laughs> trigger, draw, still no land. Um, I'll exile a card out of Chris's graveyard and then pass. Yep. Right, untap and draw. I'm going to tap for three. Cast Spring Bloom Druid. Sacrificing this forest. Getting two basic lands in the battlefield. Taps forest and a mountain i'm going to shuffle in a second and i'm going to make two rocks the rocks that i have are the ikea instructions on how to make toggle work so <laughs> play a land make a rock one to pick up the rock pay one to tap and throw the rock and deal two damage awesome that's, that's amazing uh i will play a land for turn being a gruel guild gate bringing another one down and i will swing two back over at lobert yes I will pass and I will shuffle. And this, and this is also art from someone in the community as well. <laughs> I'm gonna play a Terramorphic Expanse. I'll crack that at the end of the turn. What do I want to play? What does Tago do whenever I land in her set? Oh, lots of rocks. Just makes rocks. It's just an eight year old boy having a rock fight. Make like a rock fight. <laughs> Falcons. I legit remember yeah. being a young kid, like, eight, like nine or ten years old, and my brother and I just throwing rocks at each other. <laughs> The stupidest a, thing. I have a friend. Um, when we 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 started, we played PDH um a couple of years ago, like during the start of the the pandemic, because we were like looking for uh, stuff to do. We we're looking for stuff to play. Like we played Oathbreaker when it first started getting popular, and then we so we started playing PDH. And he made um it was like right after Commander um Legends first came out, and he made uh Tago Keskit, and Ooh, for the yes. rocks he had little uh um. Uh, sub swords like little sandwich swords <laughs> and he would like Aww. put them on board because they were they were the <laughs> goblins weapons yeah that's Aww. awesome chris what's your center card again uh spring blue i always do spring bloom druid one one that thing do etb sack of land and go look for two it's literally nothing yeah it's just for the lands i'm not a huge fan of that steel over angel is here i'm going to swing at buddy because Davros has Menace, and I don't think you want to kill really either of your things. You have a 3-4 coming at you, and then yeah. the Weeping Angel, even. But Chris, you have more stuff, so I'm going to come at you with the Weeping Angel. And I will take two. Boop, boop. 35. I'll take the three. Hold My brother and I threw dirt clods at each other. Hard rocks is <laughs> hardcore. <laughs> we, 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 were, we were the brightest children. <laughs> So did you take the three? Uh, exciting. No, I took the three. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I will get a Dalek. Do that when the that once the turn is over. Do anything else? Okay. So I'm going to. Have to do. Four. Five. Two black, right? Yep. Two black. Um, I want to play my Dalek drone. I got to destroy something. Hmm. Between Tago and I... Bad that Lobbert only has one creature, but I also don't like the Steel Over Shield. <laughs> Kill it. Good. I I won't be... I won't... Yeah, They're I playing PDH decks. Steel... <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Steel uh, Over I'm going to pass it. turn, and then... I face a villainous villain. choice, right? Uh, I'm going to discard a Goliath Paladin. Aww. Fine. Um, yeah. And then I'm also going to crack my Terramorphic Expanse, but I pass my- sure. uh, Oh wait, so I also face a Villainous Choice because Dalek Drone makes me lose 3 life, right? Um, no, you just straight lose the 3 life. Yeah, because, um, uh, isn't- does, like, is it a opponent who lost 3 or more life? Oh yeah, so then yeah, you, you, yeah, so you lose the 3 and then you have the Villainous thing, so either you lose a no- Yeah, so go ahead and draw. Uh, yeah, so then, yeah, they go back, you get to draw. So you only took 3 damage, you don't take any extra damage or anything. Okay. Uh, I'll go- my turn. I'll draw. And I will play my little baby boy. I'm going to play Pep 3 and cast Aarakrokra Sneak. Um, it doesn't look like Aarakrokra Sneak, but it is an Aarakrokra Sneak. It sounds like you're massacring a name you're trying to pronounce. No, his name is Aarakrokra Sneak. It's Aarakrokra. Yeah, that's literally what Aarakrokra, yeah. Like the, like, like the uh, Vidalcan Orrery. Orrery sounds like you're trying to say something and it's not working. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, or, Orrery. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, I'm going to take the initiative. I will venture into the Undercity. I'm going to go search my library for a plane, uh, an island, which I'll play for turn. Mm -hmm. 
Doch. And I am going to have all of these silly little cards in my hand. Uh, oh, I played a creature, so Weeping Angel goes away, right? It's not currently here. Isn't a creature until right. end of turn. Yeah. Uh, I'll put uh, two in the air. At, uh, what is it exactly? It's an alien. <laughs> it's just an artifact. So does it still exist? It's just yeah, it's just not a creature. Okay. Yeah, it's just like a regular sense. rock. That makes sense for flavor wise. I put a two at you. Oh, you lost your yeah. wow. You poofed. See, that's that's what you get for uh, <laughs> swinging at me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I didn't like it. So you're swinging two at me. My Dalek drone does fly. Oh, it does fly? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So you can take that back if you want. Um, now I'll keep swinging. Ooh. Got some open mana. He's got several manas. What do are they gonna do? I call. <laughs> Nah, I'll take the two because he might be- Okay. And then I'll, uh, pass it over after that. Boom. Okay. Uh, upkeep. I make a thopter. I'll draw that in a minute. Um, rough turn. So I have one course of action. One card in my hand is playable. Let's pay four or one with the machine. Draw cards equal to the highest mana value amount artifacts I control. Just two. It's a really bad divination. I was <laughs> it's still something. <laughs> uh, cool. Then I did draw my land, so I'm gonna bajuka bog. Let's do buddy. No! Oh, my graveyard! <laughs> my one card. I'm gonna activate this targeting Chris to get rid of one of your cards. Alright, another land is down. And then... pass. Right, I'm gonna untap and I will draw. I'm gonna do... One, two, for a Reckless Fire Weaver. Whenever an artifact ETBs, each opponent loses one life. I'm going to do a Mountain, making a rock. Everyone will lose one life. Did we lose two life total, just one life? Just, just one as of right now. Mm -hmm. Tap three for a Cultivate. Going to be another rock and damage. Oh, that's a cute little thopter. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yep, so it's going to be a forest and a mountain, making another rock. Y'all will lose another one life. Gotten rid of Tago. You just make some rock. Uh, okay. Here's a second. Click on them. And then I will pay one, put the rock on the spring bloom. And I will then pass turn. I will untap stuff for turn. i play River of Tears, which allows me I can... Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter because I have mana if I want. Let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Of course, whenever I put out more things, I'm always afraid of a board wipe. <laughs> but do I want to put more stuff out? Granted, I don't know how many board wipes there are in PDH, but... There's... Well, what I could be playing, I I have one in my deck, I believe. I don't think I put the second one. They're all in red and black. Yeah. So I don't have any, as much yeah. as I wish I could. And mostly deal two damage. And yeah. Well, three of it's the, whatchamacallit, the soul first thing. But I am playing a precon, so... More so, don't expect any wipes to come out. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, expect, don't expect wipes from us. Yeah. I don't know what's in the Urza precon, though. <laughs> That's the one thing we definitely need more of. Like, definitive wipes. I mean, Pestilence is such a strong card, though. To be oh, really yeah. more. <laughs> I think, like, Pestilence and maybe Crypt Rats has to go, and then yeah. you get a wipe in every color. So, Chris, do you have any flyers? I do not. I am on the ground. You have a lot of rocks, though. I can't do anything with the rocks right now. I am tapped out. I mean, in the future. In the future, I will be throwing rocks. <laughs> throwing rocks. He who... Live in glass house should well what if you want to get out of the house though what if you're trapped see that's yeah, no one you're trapped in the no glass one house. thinks of that one what if you're trapped in the glass house no, and all you no, have no, is no, rocks you're, you're having some issues <laughs> so buddy you have one of your little i have familiar one of every color and then all my bl uh green and blue spells cost one less okay but you can't block a flying menace no okay so i'm gonna come at you with the dalek drone I'm going to come at Chris with the Weeping Angel. Yep, I'm going to be taking two. And then Davros at Lobbert this time. So okay. the Dalek drones a 3-3, three, three, right? Yeah. All right, I'll take three. And I took the two. And I'll take three. And Commander. you take the initiative. Ooh. I sure hope you have an initiative token. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to be a lot harder. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. Oh, because I need the thing. I have you need the You need the... 
the thingy and then also the undercity that's my one problem with the initiative among other things actually i have a lot of problems with the initiative <laughs> um it's yeah, just it does require the other person it, to it requires like it's just it's just like so it's so complex for yeah like no the reason. simplest little thing too. So. Pull it up on my screen. I'll pull it up on my screen after, and I can always represent it on infinite token. The thing, yeah. I have one. I don't know where. But I uh, your first mode is to go find a basic land and put it into your hand. All right. What's the first mode called? Or just room one? Yeah, just room one. Yeah. Just <laughs> make it easier. <laughs> so basic land, get it in my hand. Can I do that at the end of the turn? Does that? I'm not drawing anything else. Yeah, How about it, did uh, you play your? Oh, you played the River of Tears, right? Yeah, she played the River. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. So I just have to not forget that at the end of the turn and. What else? Oh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna play Dalek Emperor. So actually, it didn't cost seven. Dalek, he cost two less. So we'll just leave open that. And... Yeah, that thing looks scary. I'm gonna, I'm gonna respond. I'll arcane denial that. I, I don't want to read it. There's too much text on it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Which things I was leaving up to do, 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 so he goes, counters it, right? Yeah, sorry, counter. And then you draw two cards on his turn. In the next upkeep. Yeah. Next up. So you'll look for your land, and then draw two. Remember all this stuff. All right, I will pass turn. You guys face a villainous choice. Not you, Chris, because you only got hit for two. So you either, either I draw, draw a card, or you discard a card. Um, how many cards do you have in hand? I have one, two, three. <clears throat> Uh, you can draw. Land, draw two, draw one. Yeah, you gotta draw for me too. So for you two? Okay. Yeah, so draw four. And so then, draw four. there we go. Uh, that after that, turn. I am no. going to acrobatic maneuver my area crook or sneak. I exile target creature I control, then return to the battlefield under my control, and then I draw a card. And so you get the initiative flicker, back. Flicker back in, draw a card, and then I retake the initiative and progress to the forge where I will put two counters on my messenger falcon then i uh if there's something else for that i'll go to my turn uh, in upkeep i'll trigger the initiative trigger arcane denial twice so land is basic land yes it's a basic so you go and draw two cards i will the dalek drone the one that flies <laughs> there's gotta be more i was just say. <laughs> It's a precon. They don't give us good lands. <laughs> Let me make sure that's the land that I... It doesn't look like I have an option. I just wanted another swamp. I don't think there is one. Oh, there is. Okay. Okay, so you're going to goad... The one that flies. A Dalek drone. Yeah. And then you draw two, I draw one. And I, I draw two? Yeah. Yeah, from the denial. Yeah, that's my list. Well, you, you, should, you should already have it on the list, I think. Be the first yeah. one. Oh, gotcha. Oh, attack, bud. There we go. I think you're good to keep going, buddy. Okay. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to make sure. Uh, I will cycle this Ash Barrens. We'll find something. I think I will find this Plains. I'll play it. Uh, then we will... I'm going to evoke a wave sifter. So when it enters the battlefield, I investigate twice, and then it sacrifices itself because of invoke, but I'm going to respond to my evoke trigger by uh, cloud shifting my wave sifter. So I'm going to exile it and then return it to the battlefield. So it flickers out, it flickers back in, it triggers again. And I'm going to make four clues. Mind me, that land, does it go into my hand or on the battlefield? It goes into hand. Into hand, okay. And then I'm going to move to combat. Play creatures so the Weeping Angel can't attack. Not real. So I'll come at uh, <laughs> main for another four. And this Doctor Who pre-con is kind of crazy. I'm like terrified of it. Four in the air? Yes. And did you play a creature this? I cast the Wave Sifter. Okay, so I can't block with the Weeping Angel. Four. Okay. And now I'm all done. Would you mind moving the die off of the art of... I think it's a 2-2 flyer. Just oh, the... the king on. <laughs> oh, you're fine. It, it, it doesn't have any text on it. Just, it just flies. Yeah, fly is an ATB draw. Top, 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 top. Uh, let's send this over for uh, one. I'll take this a one. Boop. 
draw off of Spy Network. Discarding a, I'm discarding the swamp that I There have. we go. <laughs> you don't have to, because you remember you draw. No, two, is that the at? Um, oh, yeah, you're good with that one. In the upkeep. So I don't have to. Okay, then I'm keeping that. Just kidding. You earned that swamp. <laughs> Flyers seem important right now, so I'm going to play uh, either Sworn Adjudicator and then exile a card out of Buddy's graveyard and pass. <laughs> Get rid of the Ash Bear. Right, draw. I'm gonna do a Great Furnace. Everyone's gonna lose one life because an artifact enters the battlefield. I'm gonna make another rock so everyone loses another life total. Wow. Uh, I will tap five to cast Icky Ticky. When it enters the battlefield, I make a 3 3 Golem. Everyone lose one life because an artifact entered. And I will pay one to put a rock on the Fireweaver. And then I will pass the turn after that. And it costs one to throw a rock, right? Correct. Just, so just I, the tap. Yes, one and tap it. Do you have any other golems? Or As of I just have the one go uh, golem on the field. That's good because you can sacrifice lots. So right now I can sacrifice two rocks uh, currently. Gonna untap. So it's my turn. Yep. Do the turn. I'm going to play Choked Estuary. I'm going to reveal the swamp from my hand. It's doing work. How many different things I want to do? Can I deal with the things, or should I just try to kill people first? <laughs> Best removal is player removal. Those are some good options you have in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not immediately. But okay. also, I want to make sure I don't have to discard at the end of the turn. The Dalek drone has to attack, and it can't attack, buddy. You're causing lots of trouble over there. You still don't have flyers, right? I do not fly, but I can. Th I can throw two rocks. Can throw two rocks, and but I've just got a four-four four flyer. You have a four-four four flyer. I'm not gonna bl throw the rocks. I'll just say it now. <laughs> it's more oh, as a menace. Say yeah, I was gonna try to. Uh... Oh, I've got a one-one with flying as well. <laughs> Yeah, Lob's got the two things, technically. I was like, where's the- oh, I'll swing at Chris, Wait, see if he can waste two rocks anyway. I will not waste two rocks, I will take three. The Weeping Angel, buddy, do you have any open flyers? I have the Air Crooker Sneak flies, and the Wave Sifter flies. The Air Crooker Sneak's a 1-4, and the Wave Sifter is a 3-2. Lobbert, how big was yours? Oh, that's a 4-4. Four, 4-4 four. Four, four and a 1-1, one, one, yeah. Stuff. All right, so I'll just do those attacks. Okay, so this is coming at Chris. Yep. So only one is going to face a villainous choice. Okay. And after that, but not yet. I. That's just at the end of the turn. Yeah. I'm gonna. Which one do I want to do? I want to do this one. One, two, three. Four, five, six. I'm going to play Genesis of the Daleks. I create a 3-3 black Dalek creature token with menace for each lore counter, which currently is just one. So it's, fi it's fine. This is this is all fine. It'll be fine. And then I pass. Uh, you can draw a card off of the Villainous. Wow, this card is terrifying. That's actually a pretty <laughs> epically good card. <laughs> it's literally just like an army in a can. Yeah. Um, I have effects on end step. I'm going to Siren's Ruse, my Era Croker Sneak. I think I missed making a couple of Daleks, too. <laughs> then why did you guys do the villain? Didn't I have, like, three of you make villainous choices? Or do I you make a Dalek? Uh, no, you make a Dalek in the end step, right? Guaranteed. Yeah. And then if an opponent... Oh, okay. I'm yeah, gonna so throw two them. rocks at the sneak. At the sneak? Well, oh while it's targeted. You only create one yeah. Dalek for turn. That will fizzle. And I'll put the, the sirens two on each of these. And then uh, I'm going to crack a clue and end step. Yep. So this is a 3 3 and a 5 5. And I got. Uh... Ooh, thank you for the uh, gifted month to you, Sub Lotto. Appreciate that. That means a lot. We got Sub from Meg over there as well. We got Stuff Galore. Not sure I, uh, if, if everything's good, I'll go to my turn. Yep. I'll go to upkeep. I will uh, trigger the undercity. I will draw a card. You're four deep, right? Uh, yes, okay. I am before thrown. Uh, I'll draw for turn. I'll play I'll discard for boating ruins. A no covered forest. I will. Play Sorry, driving more. <laughs> I'll cast an archaeomancer. Uh, 
If our Teomancer is fine, I'm going to pick up Arcane Denial, I think. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I okay. showing it to everyone? <laughs> yeah, you, you, a mini sneak. <laughs> um, wash your hand for a second. Wash your hands. Yeah, now. Wash your hands. <laughs> Don't take that dirty um, counter. <laughs> dirty, stop it. <laughs> um, I will go for a three visits. I'm going to go, I think I want, oh, I have, this has to find a forest. So I'm going to find uh, snow-covered blue-green. It's snow. Can't wait it's for snow. snow. If it happens this year. It, it's been raining like a bajillion days up in the northeast, so I'm, I'm assuming, given that, there will be snow. But again, we know how that works, you know. <laughs> it's been terrible here in New York. I mean, we sometimes get crap tons of rain. It's only a little bit rainy. Yeah. At least light. The way I see it is I bought a multi-home and my driveway is very large, so I'm going to get a lot of snow. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. Because I need oh, to plow. I can't not plow. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. You don't have any uh, fly. You have just the the dudes in the ground. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack Meg again for the the four, and I'm gonna search my library for this. I can never find these. I can never find I this. Creature this turn. I played the uh, Arcaeum. The Arcaeum answer, yeah. I can never find these foil dominant like uh, snow ones from Kaldheim because they're like they're always like watched out. For some yeah. reason, so I always have trouble finding them. What am I taking? Two, four, oh, four. and then I'm done. Oh, my cathopter! Happy dance. It's Please a land. Foil snowlands. I I would take snow, any snowlands in general. I have old snowlands. Probably the nineties. I don't think they're worth anything ones, but I mean the islands are almost like a dollar a piece. I think. Yeah, they're like the a buck, buck the change. Head, the, the head island. No, no, my partner always makes fun of me for playing snows. The gen grizz eh. grizzly gentleman. <laughs> So who, they have K they have Keldheim and Tundalands. Who has the the initiative? Is it Buddy? It's still Buddy. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's me. And they are on uh, the fourth room. Should I send a, a one one your way or? They have the the bird on the right side, so you have to send. I have the birds. I have the wave sifter. Right, but uh, I've got a four four. I can do I can do two oh, one yeah, ones yeah. and a four four, but I'm offering just one. You're saying uh, two ones and a four four? Yeah, I'll take the one one. And you can have it. Okay. Um, I'm also gonna send a one one over at Chris. Yeah, the other one. <laughs> okay. Boop. Uh, so I'm gonna stack this up. So I search for my land first. Um, my angel's playing peekaboo. Yeah. Grab an island. Put that into my hand, and then I'll draw two off of Spy Network. Draw two. I'm just spending in between the turns, then... just reading my cards. Yeah, it's fair. <laughs> I'm gonna pay five for Dark Steel Juggernaut. Yes. Uh, power and toughness are equal to the number of artifacts, and it's indestructible. And it attacks each turn of Fable. I'll pass after that. Alright, so I'm gonna untap and draw. I'm gonna do land for turn, make a rock, everyone takes one. I'm gonna do one, two, or a golden egg, everyone takes one. I draw a card with the ETB. I'm gonna do one, two, three, rock, rock. And rock. Everybody's got rocks. You get a rock. You get a rock. Exactly. Uh, there's so many Daleks out there. Sorry, I was discarding down to hand size real quick. Um, is it two or three total this turn in our damage? Uh, okay, got it then. Uh, I'm gonna pass leaving up the rock. Yep, you're good to go. More so use the rocks as defensive mechanisms for the Dalek army. Seems good, seems good. All right, what do I have here? Mm -hmm. So, Lobber, you can defy me. How big is your Dark Steel Juggernaut? It's an 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah. It's an 8-8? Eight, eight yeah. And indestructible. Dang. Yes. Just on the ground, though. Just on the ground. <laughs> juggernaut Anything power. More, uh... Oh, so I go to two... And then I make two Daleks. Make one for each lore counter. That is such a cool ability. 18 power off of six CMC, like. Yeah. And a board wipe. And the board. Yeah, and that's the biggest. And the wipe. At the very end, it, it wipes. Oh, at the end. It either, either wipes all non Daleks or it. You sack your dogs off, and then you just burn for, like, 20. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even read down to the end. Yeah, it gets gets a little crazy. <laughs> Who do I want to attack? Yeah, currently, right now, yeah, Lob's got the like one one. I have three rocks I can throw, but given the fact that you have a lot of Daleks, I don't know. Because <laughs> these only do two damage, so... And the Daleks are just are three, just one more. I have done some convoluted things where I, like, do one damage to each creature on the board, and then 
do a bunch of throwing rocks. I've done some convoluted things with this, so I do what I gotta do. Do you have only one flyer, buddy? Uh, yes, it's just the wave sifter. The wave sifter. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go after you with the Dalek drone. I'm yeah, the ground. The I have a bajillion things. I'm gonna hit you with the weeping angel. Then a ground force. So this golem is a five five. Golem is a five five. Yes. And you, Robert, you have the four four and the giant juggernaut. <laughs> Kind of a lot. That's all I'll do for now. Just the three of me? Oh, the relics all have menace. So you could block. You only have three creatures, right, Lobert? All right, I'm going to attack you with three, three, three Daleks with menace. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just block one of them with my four, four, and this, and then I'll take six. Dead Dalek. Although I'm going to put that Dalek back at the end of the turn, so what am I doing? For three, I'm going to play Vashta Narada. Oh, you uh, take the initiative as well. So oh, yeah, that's right. You either go to... Two. Are there two left or two right? Counters or scry two. All right. So before, while you're targeting that, I'm gonna throw a rock at it. That's fair. <laughs> Buff these Let up. Can, Let me see if I can do anything about that. Eh. Okay. Don't die. Bye, bye, Angel. Poor thing. She just wanted to, you know. I foresee that thing coming towards me. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't play a land. I can reveal, again, a swamp. This swamp's really doing work, letting all my stuff come in. And so I played three. Do, 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 do. And to think you were going to discard it. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. <laughs> like, wait a minute. That's actually pretty good. And let's do. do, do. Any of those, silly. Okay. So I will end the turn. I get a Dalek. I'm going to discard a card this time. This one. Discarding a card. Um, I'm going to choose to discard a card, and I'm going to respond by cracking two clues. Uh, I'm these gonna are going to go up two more. a card out of your graveyard. So these all go up again because two artifacts hit the bin. I think it's only yours, right? Or no, it's any? it's any. I have been playing Itch Tekic wrong. Yep, I played Icky Tiki and Tago wrong for a very long time, don't worry. And I, <laughs> I, just, I just built um, oh, uh, yeah, Armix. Into, uh, into a graveyard. Yeah. That is... Yeah, I, I've done Insane. that with so many cards. Where Discard. It's like, Wait, this yeah, it's like it's very yeah. busted once you once you get enough golems out there. I'm gonna draw two. And Vashta, and then I'll I get discard this absence program. Megan, can you move that counter down just so I can scan that card? I never got Sorry. to. I asked people to do it. And then I got I it. it in my <laughs> yep. And so that's my turn. Round number two. Genesis what did you say that card's name was? Which one? Vashta Narada? Yeah. V A S H T A. And then Narada separate. N E R A D A. Oh, this is like the, the weird looking guy. Yeah. It's Shadow. Yeah, it's indestructible indestructible it has shadow, shadow Morbid. And at the beginning of each end step, if a creature died, I put a counter on it. So I have to pay attention sick. if things die on other people's turns. That's sick. Um, alright. Go that may get out of hand pretty quick. Guys, don't let me draw cards. I'm I not sure how, how I'm supposed <laughs> to get rid of uh, a shadow indestructible. Me. I'll draw. I mean, it's only a 2 2 currently. Don't worry about it. It's a little guy. Okay, he'll be fine. Nothing bad will come of this. Yeah, that creature can only block shadow creatures, so that's some pseudo win right there, right? Block all of your shadow creatures. Yeah, we got this. All right, Megan. Unfortunately, you have done it to yourself. I really want this last initiative, so I will go to combat and get in with this bird. I um, will blow it down. It will? That's what I'm thinking. I'm trying to decide if I want to attack with a second creature as well. That's fine. I'm just going to announce the, it now before you finish. I... Yeah, I well, I have to attack with both, otherwise yeah. uh, just one one dies. So I'll come at, with the Wave Sifter and the Falcons at uh, Megan. So which one are you killing? The, the, the Wave Sifter? Yeah, yep. The, the Falcons? All right. And these go up two more right. counters. Wave Sifter is coming at me for how much? Yes. It is a 3-2. So that way they get the initiative. Let me see. Sure. Uh, I will trigger my favorite part of the dungeon. Time I'll go to, to go the Throne dig. of the Dead 3. Uh, now the angel really isn't here. <laughs> I will reveal the top 10 cards of my library. I put a creature from among them On onto the battlefield. I'm going to pretend I know what any of those are. <laughs> Your goal. The, so the, the last uh, of the Undercity, or the initiative, is 
Reveal the top 10 cards, put a creature on the battlefield, add three counters to it, and it gains Hexproof and Indestructible, right? Just Hexproof. Just Hexproof. Until your next turn. Yeah, so you can kill it after that. Um, I'm going to take... The Recursion, yeah. But I kind of want more block. Well, I guess the Basilica Shepherd isn't blockers. It's just It just itself is a blocker. But the Dalek is going to come at me in the air no matter what. So I am just going to take this Salvager of Secrets. Then my Salvager is going to pick up Acro acrobatic maneuver because i want more cards because i'm very greedy finally pulled up the undercity card i'm always like okay i need to have an undercity card here <laughs> and then i have it there and then it always disappears and then i could never have it when i need it i have it when i don't need it mm -hmm. and then it disappears when i do then i, will I don't know what happens it's like goblins to... One of those, yeah. <laughs> My main phase two, I'm going to evoke a mold drifter. Uh, I'm going to respond to its evoke trigger by flickering. Ghostly flickering. Yep. The Archaeomancer and the mold drifter, if that's fine. Yep. Okay, I'll flicker them back. Um, Archaeomancer is going to pick up the ghostly there's flicker. Time, if that's okay with you. <laughs> I just want to make sure. People have open. I think you there's like, what? Is that a mountain over there? I have a gruel guild gate. Also, yeah, that's, that's scary. That's a lightning bolt right there. Yep. Um, I'm gonna draw two and then draw two off the initial mold drifter. I think they forgot to put their the force of will in my precon. Yeah, they don't think that through. Well, the, you know, it's not every day they come up against EDH threat. Yeah. Messenger Falcons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Watsi just um, doesn't take it all the way through for that reason, you know. I am the worst creature on the field right now. Is that's not mine. All right. Mm -hmm. Did I play a land this turn? I don't remember. We're so on turn say... nine, so you should have nine. I, I've ramped twice. So then, eleven. Yeah, and then I picked this Simic Growth Chamber. Correct, yeah. Okay, so I will play this land. Um, and then, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Discard one. Um, goodbye, Merchant Scroll. That's it. On your end step. Oh, sit my hand then. I'm gonna do three... Four because I don't know, I'm gonna snuff out the yes. adjudicator because okay. I don't want to destroy my stuff. I'm gonna cast snuff out for its alternate mana cost, the mana value on it. <laughs> I'm actually paying the mana value. And you got a counter, Chris? You know it. Okay. And then I'm good to take my turn. Uh, yeah, I will discard the mercy. Um, start by making Buddy exile a card. The Avacyn's Pilgrim. Got yeah. away with it last turn because you didn't <laughs> leave one mana up yep. for your relic. You 100% Will I did. be able to get away with it again? <laughs> I would have gotten away with it too. Um, I need to make a Thopter. <clears throat> it's off screen because it's throwing up. The Thopter. You, you put in the new token and it's blank. I said it's off screen because it's throwing up because it's summoning. Oh. Yeah. It was a bad yeah. joke. <laughs> it's even worse joke when you have to explain it. No, that's what, makes, that's what makes jokes so much better. When you let people like go, oh, okay, now I get it. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see what we can do. I have to attack with this. I'm going to go to combat. Yep. Um, because of the dice, but did you draw the Pokemon Golem, Chris? Because I actually have the, go the columns as well. But I felt it was more fitting. <laughs> Two in the air at Buddy. And then, and then seven. Oh, this is, is eight again. Eight on the ground at Megan. Is it two in the air at me? The ground. Oof. Yes. Uh, I'll block one with the Mold Drifter and then just take one. Uh, you. This. Pretend I had this. It's yours now. I can't, can't block with Vashta. Well, I don't want to take eight, so I'm going to. He doesn't have trample or anything, right? I'll kill a Dalek. Or Dalek. Chris gets counters. Yeah, um, I do. Also gets a counter for my Thopter dying. Um, I'm going to trigger Spy Network twice, and... Oh, I got a Buddy's uh, end step because a creature died, right? Oh. One of your creatures died, right, buddy? That's a follow. Oh, we got a raid from a Jason... Craft. Thank uh, you. Very I, cool. I don't... Yes, one of my creatures died. The uh, Messenger Falcons did die. Thank you, Kana. Thank you for the follow. Okay, so I'm targeting this with That's the value. initiative to get two counters. Um, then I'm going to draw two. Yep. Give one more game a follow. Yeah, we're so close to 500. We're very, very close. 13 away. I'm going to play Austere Command. You bastard. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to choose the final two modes. Destroy uh, all creatures, essentially. Destroy yeah. all creatures. Yeah. But I like my Arcane. There's a huge Dalek problem. <laughs> yeah, I know there is a Dalek problem. <laughs> Um, I don't, problem, but... but if we can get rid of some of the Daleks, you know, I'm just trying to like, see, it's like, I'm, I'm honestly more scared about this, it sh this lore counter thing. 
but I understand destroying all creatures. But the final the final thing is based on the number of dollars. No, number of dollars. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. And then the next time, it, but it, next year, yeah, it makes three. So uh, um, I think I'm just I going to... Yeah. I'm going to run away together. Um, my targets are my Archaeomancer, and I will give you... I'll, I'll target uh, your Thopter. Nice. Uh, Sure. So I'll just pick up the Archaeomancer, and then the Thopter goes away. And then if my spell resolves... Yes, and I have nothing. Creatures are destroyed. My stuff is gone. Think of how many times it triggers. My, minus the, that thing that's got to get a little larger now. Oh wait, the Va- I should have targeted the Vashta. Forgot it was there. Uh, Vashta is indestructible. Yeah, but I could have bounced it back to your hand. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Oh, shucks. Okay. <laughs> Silly uh, you! <laughs> that felt pretty good. I'm gonna pass. Lots of died. One more to play. Good luck, real salty. So you're gonna make some people real salty? Right, I got so are you real salty, or do you make people real salty? These are questions we need to know answers to. Alright. I'm gonna untap. I don't know why I got rid of my golden egg. <laughs> <laughs> Draw. Wow, that stinks. Uh, I'm just gonna play it now to show you what I just drew. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven. It is a mall splicer. Golems I have control get trample. Damn. And it comes with two golems. And I get two golems. So my people laugh at people laugh at me for playing this card. Yep. People laugh at me for playing this card. This card is crazy. That's good. So my twelve twelve would have would have had trample. And Sad it, face. It, it, it is gonna get stronger now that there's a lot more golems. All right. So and then I will do land for turn. I will tap three for an Embril Great Smasher. Tap and sacrifice that deals two damage to each opponent. Mm. And then I'm going to pass the turn after that. Right. It is not a ray of revelation, really? Come on. On tap, it goes to three. I'm going to make three Daleks. And then... And then B, thank you for the follow as well. Appreciate it. I want to... Do... What do I want to do? Do two... Well... Two, three, four. Shut the door. Five. Do that yet. So I got three Daleks, got a Vashta, Narada. Who has the most life? It's Chris by a lot. No. Okay. <laughs> but you have a lot of stuff. I got Diddly now. I'm just saying, I'm just on the ground. So I'm not doing much. I'm going to come at you <laughs> with the Vashta. It can't be blocked unless you have Shadow. I do not have Shadow, so I will take four Shashas to Devana. Damage, One, two, now I'm three, gonna four. tap six to do, to have Davros. Welcome back, buddy. Hi! How you doing? Gasta Nevada. Nevada, Nevada, Nevada. <laughs> Sounds like a spell. Nevada, <laughs> Nevada. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I guess I don't understand this card. There must be something I'm not thinking about with it. Oh, gotta follow. Sweet, sweet. Johnny D, 727. Appreciate it. I will make, and then Chris, you face a villainous choice. You are more than welcome to draw a card. Yeah. Speaking of drawing cards, I'm gonna sec my last clue. Draw a card. Ooh. And then are you done after that? Oh, sorry. You're fine. I just wanted to make sure. Yep, when I make the Dalek, that's the end of my turn. Yeah. Uh, ooh. Flip that card over. Um, I'll draw. These are interesting. You know, I like the- I like that Mall Splicer so much, I'm gonna play my own yeah. Mall Splicer. <laughs> Make. You've got Damn. a fancy one with a really, really badass art. <laughs> it's it's a rare. You can't play it. <laughs> yep. Watch out. <laughs> Make two golems. You even have the Phyrexian golem. Look at you go. I have a Brutaclad deck. Oh, okay, um, yeah. It's one of my regular ones. So <laughs> I, I I made sure to get all the tokens for it, and one of them is the Phyrexian golem. Um, what do I want? I gotta build Bernard with the all the golems. The uh, precon deck. But what am I supposed to do with those? They're just proxy fodder. Yep. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> I'll play a Chrome Courier as well. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, I reveal the top two cards of my library. I put one into my hand, other into my graveyard, and if I put an artifact card into my hand, I gain three life. So I'm going to reveal Flicker of Fate and Avenging Hunter. Uh, I'm I use take... the extra space in my deck, deck box to hold all the cards that I'm like, I need to put in this deck, and then just take forever to actually put them in the deck, yeah. so they just sit in there for a while. Yep. <laughs> I took the uh, the Avenging Hunter, which is just the initiative creature. Yep. And then I will. You, but, but you've at least put them into a box. You've got. You've started something at least. <laughs> so nothing died, right? Nope. No. I want things to die um, because <laughs> my things. I want other people. Okay. So I untap. Um, 
trigger this trigger initiative. Make I have to discard um, a card and turn. I'm discard the acrobatic maneuver. Make a thopter. Um, Your juggernaut's bigger, you know, because you have the signet. I think I counted that. We've got one, two, three, four, five. So we got oh, five, the two's five, from the the two's together. from the thing. Okay, never mind. Is there anything worth goading? Let's go that uh, Vashta Narada. That's a good choice. And then I'll drop a turn. I'll track this accurately. And drop. We are 489 people. Followers? Yep, 11 Push away. this man to 500. We are so damn oh, close. Six. I only need four for my commander, so I can afford to play other stuff. I don't want to have to make 11 bot accounts. Come on, people. <laughs> <laughs> Followed. Give them a follow so you can get they can get up there. Okay, let's do these three. Plus gameplay and a really cute dog. Yeah, see, that alone does it. Do, do it for a Chrome play. Courier. Look at us. Buddy already read already read it, warriors. so I got a Solemn Simulacrum and a Whirler Rogue. All right, do, do, do it for her. Look at that. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. I'll take Very the Solemn. I'm happy about that. Oh, yeah, she has the most, like, really? Are you serious? <laughs> It's cold and slimy. Yep, she's just uh, sitting there. <laughs> it's like, am I done? Play three or to finally play my commander. Remember, I have one of those. Oh snap! Uh, did yeah. you gain your three off the uh, Chrome Courier? I did. I wanted to make sure. reminder, though. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna play Rary Stream. Wait, this is this has actual text. I just assume everything comes into play tapped. <laughs> Unless I control two or two more, more basics. Basic lands. One, two. Oh, boom! A, it's a Watsi dual land. <laughs> Broken. Okay, let's go to combat because I have to. Um, Megan, I'm sorry. You're sorry. Good swing at Chris. You haven't swung at Chris. <laughs> he's got le he's got less fodder. I think you've got just like dudes for days. And if we don't take out the dollar, that's okay. like twelve next turn. Potentially, yeah. So how much is that coming at me? It's a seven seven. Seven seven. Do I want to take seven to do three more damage to each of you? <laughs> that's quite the trade off, though. Eh, I'll block. If it if it, if I wasn't already down to twenty, then. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Me. Then post combat, I'm just gonna pass, and I'll trigger. Don't your artifact creatures have? They have menace, right? Oh, they do have menace. Um, yeah, you're right. I'm I'm reading uh, Urza for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I I completely forget that clause because I just play it for the golems. The Karnstar, um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this does have menace, so we got to rewind that. What would you like to do? Fine, I will take it. Boom. Okay. okay. <laughs> then I'm passing. Um, and I'm getting my trick or Urza to get a golem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will remember this for next time. Tap seven to recast <laughs> Icky Ticky. Making a, another golem. Uh, three. If how many golems? Three, it looks like. Three golems. I'll do. This is going to go crazy when all the Daleks die. One and crack the golden <laughs> egg to add a mana. With that mana, gonna I will die or all put gonna die? the rock on. The splicer. Putting a counter on all of my golems. So it depends on who I ask. I, guess. I will 100% take the damage if you choose me. I'm like, I don't even know. I don't know what I would do. Like, weirdly enough, like I'm at 24. Everyone's in the 20s, you know. So it'd be 12 damage to the board, bringing us closer to your t life total. I'm fine with if you say I. If you pick me, I'm gonna choose. We all take the damage. You want to keep all your stuff. Question Correct, because my hundred percent is going to be. I want to keep my stuff. That's why. I want to get rid of your stuff. <laughs> um, I am going to move to combat. I'm gonna swing a golem, one golem over at Buddy, and one golem over at Lobert. Current moment, they are four fours with trample. I'll block with a six six. And then you, Buddy. Uh, I'm thinking. I feel like if I'm if the board is getting wiped, I'd rather have my life total. Or maybe I just, like, hope I can win in the board. Um, I'll take the four, I think. Alright. I'm going to pay one, throw the rock over at, um, the construct. Got two on it. These go up. Um, I will crack the, uh, tap this to sacrifice the, the rock, putting another counter on all of these. Everyone takes two damage. Now they are six sixes with trample. Okay, I'm ready to take my two. Yep, so then one of mine dies, and the other one goes through to Buddy. And then you take the initiative. And I take the initiative. Uh, this dies, so... That was in combat? Yeah. Okay, so I take two more, I think, right? Yeah, because I added another two. Yeah. 
to it. Um, uh, my current struct dies, so you get another. Yeah, I get two more on all of these. Yep. And I'm on the very first level of initiative. So I'm gonna basically I put in my hand. We have forest. I'm gonna play the forest. I will tap one for a wayfarer's bubble, and from there I will just pass the turn. And nice. thank you for the follow, like Lodi Copter. Nice. <laughs> to pick an opponent. Yep. <laughs> So my choice reta retains the state the same. I want my stuff to live. So if I am chosen, I will choose. We all take damage. You do draw before you choose. All... Yeah, so you still get st stuff out of it. So who wants to destroy all non-dollars? I don't know. I'm, I don't thinking have... I'm thinking I'm thinking I might just it's like if I take the damage, then I go to three. Um... <laughs> yeah, if you take the damage, you lose. Yeah, I'm, I'm just dead. yeah. Uh... If you want to choose me, I'll destroy all non Daleks. Alright, I'll choose you. I lose my commander, but. Yeah, I'll destroy all non Daleks. Boom. Sticky Ticky goes to two. Bubbles Death out. Star. I land. And a very many things, Splody. Very many things, Splody. Except for that dang. Well, there's an explosion. All the uh, non Daleks died, so it worked out perfect timing. <laughs> Who's the biggest danger? What is the thing on your board? Uh, Wayfarer's bobble. It's a okay. fancy bobble. Like it look, looks like like a person's face, like a cyborg. Yeah, it's a weird. globe. Uh, it's one of those like orbs, the metal orbs. Oh, okay. You need to ponder your orb. Yeah. Yes. Okay, now I see it. <laughs> Yeah, so basically this entire deck is like fancy. They're all proxies. So my pauper deck is completely proxied. <laughs> Judge. Yep. Exactly. Anything right. for good art. Yep, and that's literally what it is. See if we can knock Chris down to size a little bit. Yep. Am I taking to, uh, 12 or 9? You are taking 9, and I'm going to see who I want to win. I'm taking 9. Albert, you have been hitting me for a bunch of stuff. That one can't I'm, go at me. It's goaded. Go I'm, I'm, like, moving around this thing that's goaded. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, sorry. You're fine. How much is it? It is 5. Okay. I have... I did hit you for, like, 12 with a bird. <laughs> Let's see. I do... These two? Can I still... I recast my commander. Two, four, six, eight. Yes. Ooh, we appreciate it. Coming off the Death Star again. A little more pricey to take his uh, vacation this time. <laughs> so then we're hitting my... So I'm going to pass turn. We're hitting my end step. And you take the initiative as well. All right. So, so you... now target... He's on level loses. three. You can goad or... Um, or uh, uh, the elusive trap, right? Yeah. I'm going to do lose five. Oh... Who's losing five? I'm trying to think of who stands to come back more quickly. Lobber did the most damage to me, but Chris, you also might come back quickly. You mm. chose to take that damage. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we were swinging at me every turn. <laughs> Alright, we'll do Lobber. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, okay. And Go then 12. I pass turn, I get a Dalek, and then you guys face a villainous choice. Do I get a card? Alright, I will... I'll discard, Solemn. I'll discard a Mnemonic Wall. You can draw from me. I will it is not my turn. Yeah. And that'll just remind me uh, when I was at play. Now it's Alex everywhere. All right, let's go with an echoing truth off the top. Come on. I know uh, that's in that deck. <laughs> try to stabilize a little. I'll go for an Avenging Hunter. I'll take the initiative. I'll go to the secret entrance. Find a basic. You'll find it, but it's not secret anymore. Well, it was secret. But then everyone knew about it. I mean, how many times can you go into the Undercity before it stops being secret? That's the question of the day, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like in D&D when people are like, oh, you go to the black market, as if it was like an actual market and not Yeah, just but like... you're also like going to the black market like 20 times per campaign. It's like, yeah. you go there like every other day. <laughs> like, it's yeah. just a typical like Kroger's or Stop and Shop. <laughs> Black market of Kroger's. Yep. <laughs> Kill everyone else who comes out from the experience points and it's ca it, you keep the secret. There you go, yep. Whoever knows this. about it, make them keep it secret. I'll play Archaeomancer. That's true. If it's a secret, somebody's got to know it. Like, it, otherwise it's just unknown. It can't be a secret unless one, at least one person knows yeah. about it. And it takes the one. All right, so I think that you should do Merchant Scroll into a Echoing Truth, and if not, Lobert should crack his relic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take this run away together. I don't actually think I'm on Echoing Truth because I built this deck like right when I started playing. I didn't realize like e Echoing Truth is like actually crazy. Yep. Um, then again, um, I also did lose in the top four to a uh, TPI, so maybe I should be playing uh, Echoing Truth in every single deck I play. Uh, I'm gonna pick this run away together. Okay, I'm gonna respond by cracking my relic finally. Oh, snap. 
All right, all graveyards are exiled. And Lubbert draws. Uh, and then I will pass. Each Techic's Eminence ability triggers. Kidding. <laughs> like, I wouldn't mind if Eminence was, like, more prevalent if it was, like, super, like, bare bone. <laughs> That's a cool ability. Just, like, all of them are just yeah. pretty damn strong. Robin deck, but... Yeah, it seems. Although I always forget it. Just oh, one yeah, of those. That trigger. Whoops. I feel like half of them are pretty bare boned. Like making your dragons cost one less. Like isn't really that. That's like the bad. only one. Like out of all of them, that really like. We're not. I'm not even gonna talk about Anala. Yeah, Anala. Anala is on a total other level. Even like, like plus three, plus three is pre on a turn is pretty crazy. And then what, what's the other one? Is um, a Ra Rabo. Yeah, Arabo is a plus three, plus three, which I use. I play that, and it does serious work. It's like a, like a four, does. four on the turn two. It's insane. Um, then there is Edgar, which makes this uh, vampire every single vampire. Uh, the knight is whenever it attacks, you get to draw a card, so you get a, um, a recon 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 mission in your zone. And I forget what the fourth one is. Well, the knight one was um, from like it, knight one was afterwards. The fourth one was uh, it's uh, Abora. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, Aboro. Yeah, Aboro. The so there's the two life every turn one. Yeah, Aloro is like the initial. The original, 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 yeah. Omega, like Chief that of the Foundry. Bad, though. That would be abused and dealing command. That would be a lot of feel bad. Yeah. They should make more ways to steal command zone. Commanders yeah, and pay five. Pulling the commander four. in the command zone. <laughs> I'll, play five, I'll pay five to replay my commander um, because of his cost reduction. Then, Didn't cost so this even is... less than he did originally. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's one, two, I believe, down here, and then three, four, and then it's getting an anthem from this. So this is six, seven, eight. This is an eight, eight with menace. Seems good. Um... I haven't beaten up on Megan, but Megan is just popping off. Um, <laughs> I guess... Plus, Daleks don't have flying. That's a factor. Megan didn't attack me. But she, she was up. going so gonna... to. <laughs> had, your thing, had, had her thing not been goaded, she would have hit you. In theory, yes. But she definitely could have sent some Daleks. <laughs> That's so true. I'm, yeah. I'm going to send this one. Had, uh, summoning stick pink. Did they? Up at Buddy. No, because it was the turn that you wiped. Yeah, the thing with your full wipe, yeah. You attacked Chris with three of them. It was this last turn. Oh, um, yeah. This one's going up at Buddy. It's an 8-8... Eight, eight, with menace. I would have loved to have this run away together. <laughs> um, what can I even do? I think I like if I block these things die, and then I'm just at someone else's whimsy. So I just I'll just take eight and Oof. go to two for the best. That's a you poke. take the initiative though. Yeah. Um, I think I want a skeleton. Yeah, I'd say a full one menace. Pass and. Make a card instruct. Alright, draw. Oh, and I do draw off of Thopter Spy Network. I'm gonna do. Thopter Spy Network. Tap two. Wedding invitation. Draw a card. Those the Daleks, I can put the eyeball back. Tap one for a universal automaton. The best golem. Yep. Literally the best golem in the deck. <laughs> no lie in the least bit. And it's like one of the most bad, coolest stars. <laughs> it is, it is. Uh, I will do one, two, three for a magnifying glass. I'll pay two. Crack my bauble. Get a basic land. Those are the gets exiled. So what do I want? What do I want? Go mountain. Uh, no, I'll get a forest. That's These cards tough. in my hand, I think, are very specific to cards I do not have in play. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> like, hmm. That is how they built these decks. Yep. Uh, this was more so simply for a blocker. Because I've got the same thing going on. Okay. Oops. Uh, da, 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 da. uh yeah, I'm going to pass turn. Throw all of this vertical. Draw a card. All right, might as well scry one. Temple of Epiphany. Scry one. Do not need that. I'm a mill player at heart. Feels bad. <laughs> I think the temple enters tapped. Yeah, temple tapped. Yes, you're right. If it's a pre gun, just assume it's tapped. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Don't sleep on temples. Temples of I I'm still I'm still leaning towards the yay versus the nay on the temple. Well, like I I had back when <laughs> uh, multiple years ago I used to play uh Adnaz in modern and like you were on like three deceit, three enlightenment. And it was you would just sometimes you would just like well see one as like your turn two or like turn one play you'd play it and you'd, like you'd scry one and the scry one was just so relevant sometimes. This so guy. maybe I've maybe I've been pilled on them for like maybe I've been playing too long. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Chris, yes. What is the thing on the left? Because it's not a savant. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's a wedding invitation. I can crack it. Dark creature cannot block this turn. Okay. 
So you cannot block because if my creatures have menace. Nope, I only have the one automaton. So if you swing house, I die. I don't leave myself very much. I'm gonna swing at you, let's see. With Davros. Yeah, let's do Davros and four Daleks. All right. Ooh. So I am taking 15. That's what you get for hosting. Yep. <laughs> swing at you for five. And I'm probably gonna die, but. Let's try the Yolo. swords to plowshares, your Vashinarada. Oh, nice. What'd he ever do to you? I'm, I would like you to gain five, please. Yeah, he's just helping. Just helping. That's true. I mean, you're being very kind. <laughs> Four, five. Oh, yeah. Exile, buddy, my graveyard. This deck is making me want to go back and watch Doctor Who again. <laughs> the synergy flavors of the Who decks were very, very good. I like like a lot. Like, I'm like, yeah, that's exactly what that would do on a few of them. All right, so I guess I'll just play some cards that might uh all right one two right, get a blue in there i'm gonna play ashad the lone cyberman the first non-legendary artifact spell you cast each turn has casualty two if i cast it i can sacrifice a creature with power two or greater when i do i copy I it pick up myself and where is your magic word all right thank you very much Omega. i appreciate it thank you very much for everything it means a lot i have a good one now i'm gonna play Clockwork Druid, which is a non-legendary artifact spell. I'm going to sacrifice one of my Dalek, Clockwork Druid. That is value. Since I sacrificed it, this guy gets then past turn, and I get another Dalek. And you face a villainous choice, but just Chris. Oh, wait, no, Chris died. <laughs> Chris is dead. <laughs> there's there's no, there's no more choices. <laughs> I have chosen to die. <laughs> Nothing in upkeep. I'll draw. What can I do? Um, really just want to draw a card. Um, I guess I'll start things off by drawing a card. I'm going to scroll shift our Kaomancer and then yeah. exile it. One target artifact creature or enchantment I control, then return to the battlefield under its owner's control, draw a card. So I'll flicker the Archaeomancer out, draw a card, then Archaeomancer picks up the scroll shift. That card isn't good. Uh... <laughs> The problem was I... I dumped everything out earlier because I forgot that it opens like that, but it opens all oh, the way. Oh, yep. I didn't realize it. Didn't realize I don't use deck boxes. I use like the basic things. So didn't realize it did that. There were purple cards. Putting a counter on that shot was uh, not what I would have liked. Um, I'll go for a Cloudkin Seer. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, I draw a card. The foundry seems kind of bad. Real quick. Um, that's some value. Who has the initiative? Still you. I oh, know, yeah. buddy has it still. So. No, no, I, I don't have it. I, uh, I got hit by uh, Lobert. Oh, yeah, because you okay. made the, the skeleton. Did you hit me, Chris? No. I don't think so. No, okay, I, I so just I, uh, built up a little, that's all. You have the initiative. That sucks. Um, <laughs> what's she, Actually, Chief of the Foundry will. is it like a, it's a something, it has three toughness, right? Yeah. It's a 2-3, and it it's an anthem for artifact. All Sunlance. The Chief of the Foundry. I did not Got it. think to see that. That's awesome. For Drops. some reason, I thought it was Sunlands. So it's Sunlands. <laughs> yeah, it's, fun, like, it's fun the Funlands. Fun it's the Funlands. <laughs> uh, I'll play uh, an Arctic Tree line. Then It's how uh, Wasi thinks how white should be. <laughs> Only non-white creatures, and it's a sorcery. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> it's... Uh, it's a very interesting card, but it's, but it's like it's a it's a shift from a different color. It wasn't yeah. originally white, but it's just weird that it is. Um, a lot of like, white cards that affect only non-white things, aren't there? Yeah, there's a bunch of them. Oh, was that? They haven't they haven't been printing them recently because people like can take them out of context sometimes. Yeah. Um, what's the one with the butt? Do you know what I'm talking about? Non-white creatures get minus one minus one until end of turn. It's like a white instant for three. It's got a butt. What? Like like a, a literal butt. butt? Yeah. I have no idea. It's not a common. I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, it is a common. It is a common? Yeah. It's in white? So white creatures oh, get. I only think of that like... Non-white. Oh, non-white. Why don't I know this card? I'm gonna pass. Um, why have I never heard of this card before? Holy Light. Holy Light, yeah. Yep. Non-white creatures get minus one, minus one to another turn. It is two and a white for an instant. Oh, it is a butt. Yeah, it's a literal butt. <laughs> it's a, it's a, yeah, it's just... an, old, an old guy butt. Someone was just yeah. reusing their 
their figure drawing practice because that looks exactly like yeah. a figure yes. drawing session of an old person. Yep, so, some some random guy is like, oh, uh, at an art class and he gets to the, the meeting late and they're like, you need an art right now. It's like, you just bought okay. it with me. <laughs> Perfect timing. I'm, I'm gonna throw him. Uh, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five. Ooh, Sharding Sphinx, Sharum the Hegemon. Armix. Okay, I can't um, hear Sharding Sphinx as yeah. anything other than having then... a tea. <laughs> yes, yeah, 100%. I've heard that so many times. These are my four. You know, you know, hit, hitting, hitting, like, actual good cards off the initiative is it's kind of crazy. Crazy. I know. <laughs> like, I'm happy when I hit a, a Crypt Rats off of it. That's That that makes my day. Like, I hit a Crypt Rats off the initiative, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, we're riding high now. Yeah, instant start my, off. <laughs> my my three mana four four that doesn't die to its own ability. Um, I was pretty excited to play this pre con. Um, I'm gonna play Noxious. I'm gonna not play. I'm just gonna get Noxious here, Hulk. See, I like the pre con because it has all the old mud frames. That's my favorite thing. It's it, it's it's been so nice because yep. I, I love that frame. So I just like looking for like uh, Grixis and like Esper cards that are just in that color. Like I like oh a talisman. Ooh, it's a border. Yep. Okay, so I can destroy something. They're getting on a player. No, it's just another creature. Damn it, he just, he just he, he knew anything. it. Because <laughs> um, like, I was reading like, it, I was like, it's not non-artifact? It's not non-black? No, it's just it's a just straight anything? go for the throat. What is what is happening? Okay. Straight what up. are those? Um, straight up murder. Let's Blada. kill toughness. Let's kill Ashad, the lone Cyberman. I'll gain four. At first, when you said Ashad... I was didn't, was didn't think that was me. I'm like, oh wait, a shot is me. <laughs> That's my creature. <laughs> like, okay. okay, and it is an artifact creature. So this, I'm running out of ones that are easy to read. <laughs> um, Here's a great cube. Yeah, I'll I'll grab some more dice in just a second. Oh, um, I'll drop a turn. Come in handy for like just <laughs> casual truths. No, yeah, She's it's just spit, spitting rhymes here. Three hundred dollars on a really nice printer. Um, oh, nice. So I can make a bunch of proxies. But yeah, next on my list, I think, is th up. these circles. Yeah. That's um, the one thing that I don't have of yours, is the circles. Eden. The counters. Yep. Yep. <laughs> was joke someone was saying the other day, there's just so many different names for them. Because I call them, they're counters. Like, dry erase counters, you can use them. Although you can use them for more than just that. But there's, like, some people call them buttons and circles and discs. Oh. Well, so what, I think someone the other day said, like, roundy thingies or something. Writable pogs. Pogs. <laughs> yep. Dry erase pogs. Dry erase, oh, yep. I, remember pogs. I remember like trading them on the school bus. I was <laughs> like, nice. And like having like a little mini market. Like, okay, I'll give you these three if you give me that shiny one over there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pay three and do this in my main phase. I'm gonna do unbreakable formation. Creatures I control gain indestructible plus one plus one and vigilance until end of turn. A lot of Good. stuff. A lot of text. A lot of things. Part was crazy in draft. I played so much of the like this draft format and Guilds of Ravnica, and sometimes you would just like you would open it and attack it, like, and you'd do it in your main phase, and then you just want to be like, oh, what do I do? Yep. It's only three mana. Damn. I know. Um. I need to put that in like all my deck. Oh wait, they have vigilance, don't they? Yes. Yeah. Vigilance <laughs> and Manache, and okay, they all I'm get one-one counters. They Vigilant? I mean, where do they get? It is a counter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, plus one, plus one. It's a whole counter. It's a straight counter. What's the menace one again? Is that one of the creatures gives them menace? The commander. Yeah, my commander. Ah, can you kill us this turn? <laughs> I think so. It'll be close. Um, I'm gonna send. Oh, buddy has so many cards in hand. I'm gonna send the two flyers. Well, only one can attack, but I'm gonna be honest. Like, I'm gonna tell. Oh you, yeah, I'm you gonna, are. I'm gonna tell it to you straight. I have one flyer. Yeah. You have a two-two yeah, two with flyer, menace. But... <laughs> <laughs> You have a blue. I do have hands. a three mana. Send, yeah, so I'm gonna send a skeleton and a thopter at you, and then I'm gonna send uh, these other three at Megan. Um, let me double check this math. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is right. Can I do anything to save myself? No. So what is coming at me? Uh, these things. Uh, <laughs> this is. I know. Oh, this is supposed to have another counter. So this is a ten. This is an 8. It's a 10-10, an 8-8, eight, eight, and a 5-6. And they're all indestructible. This one does not have Menace, but these other two do. And those things on Gear Hulk aren't, or the two on there are not, uh, only the three on, is a counter. Uh, yeah, the, the no, top, this actually yeah. did add a, this so added Gear a Hulk, counter Gear Hulk well. can't attack it. it. It came in. It doesn't, I don't think the initiative gives haze. Right. right. No, yeah. so it, um, the Juggernaut, so the counters, the dice in the bottom is the total PT. 
and the counters on on the dice on top is the legit just straight up counters. Yeah, yeah. this is counting the the number of artifacts for both of these. Yeah. Sorry, I'll make that more clear. Um, and then they they have counters, so they're different. But ten. So, I'm gonna... so sorry, ten and eight. I was just rehashing. I'm gonna cyber conversion your uh, juggernaut guy, your ten ten. You turn si target creature face down. It's a two two cyberman artifact creature. How does that work with attacking? Still attacking. It's still attacking. Yeah. Still attacking. It's a five-five with indestructible. But it no longer has menace, right? That's that's right. No, it's still oh, an artifact. Creature. It's an artifact, so it still gets it. How is it still? No, oh, it's a Cyberman artifact creature. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> so it's a so now it's coming at me is a five is five damage. So the, five eight ten. Um, oh, this is five. No, five 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 eight. Okay. Didn't you? So there wasn't block. the weren't there? Aren't there seven artifacts? Right. There are. So the the car instruct should be is 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 eight, right? Yeah. Five five eight. Okay, yeah, I understand. I got you. Okay. I see. So now. I'm gonna block the eight, and so then ten is coming at me. Yes. Do I wanna kill my wanna kill my guys or do I wanna see if I can kill you? I'll take ten. <laughs> Rolling the dice. Okay. Anything but I'm gonna die, but that's okay. Oh, no, I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> I'm going. I, I have I have just I have, I have just flicker spells in my hand. <laughs> Then I'm going to draw two off of Thopter Spy Network. I don't think this is going to go well for me. Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, seven total mana. Uh, two for Liquid Metal Torque. And then... Leave up Spire of Industry. Pay f What's it called? Bronze Guardian. Double Strike, Ward 2. Other artifacts I control have Ward 2, and its power and toughness are equal to the number of artifacts. And it's an artifact. So I played Liquid Metal Torque. And that guy, so this pumps up too. Then I'm ready to pass, and I'll make a, another construct. Pump this up. Unfortunately, farewell is not in Davros. <laughs> I need to top deck something interesting in order to make this work. And by make it work, I mean in order to not die. Let's see. I did not top deck anything interesting. All right, I'll just swing all in, and I'm going to exert these two guys so they can't be blocked and then i scry keep that there even though that doesn't do anything um they have menace so i'm just gonna yeah these four have three three power and menace and these two are three power and unblockable but they're okay exerted. and you're attacking with davros as well oh okay final swing style um yeah um <laughs> thopter and a construct in front of a of a dalek thopter and another construct in front of another dalek um let's do noxious and the skeleton in front of the third dalek so that means i have these three blockers remaining and i'm just gonna throw i guess urza and my flipped creature in front of davros and then take six yep, you take six from these guys and i'm gonna lose some thopters and my skeleton i believe i should have kept him for the villainous choice but i'm just gonna die next turn because these mm -hmm. are these are exerted so they can't uh yeah they're not gonna right, untap yeah. next turn anyway and i've got my card that i'm gonna discard gonna mastermind multiplied and then die i just tapped all my mana because i'm like i'm not gonna count it out because i'm gonna die <laughs> <laughs> yeah fair um yeah let's just Actually, swing I'll... gg <laughs> gg's it's good game <laughs> wait, wait, wait. everyone thanks for your patience while i'm reading my own cards that oh. was fun it was totally fine. That was yep. That, I think that was my first mix EDH EDH. Yeah, game. it was all well balanced across the board. It had some flickery things, had some Daleks and artifacts. I don't and... like if like a deck I'm playing, like if I'm playing a precon and it gets out of hand. I don't really want it to. I like it more just kind of like even and yeah. going back and forth and like it was with this game. I'm really happy that you let that count that uh, board wipe resolve. That I think helped the flow of things and just I think it made it a better game. Mm -hmm. Not not just because it made me win. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> oh no, it's just it's it's always a difficult position. Like I've played a lot of like uh, popper game popper EH decks uh, at like regular tables, just because like my LGS that I can primarily really go to. Like we have a small group of, of popper people, but they don't always they don't come at like when I come. So I, I always like mm -hmm. I want to play my popper decks right, um, and people uh, people don't like playing against my regular decks. Um, <laughs> so I tend to play the, I tend to play the popper ones because the people, like, they're more balanced for everyone. Um, and 
there there have been games where like this deck is it, it's a deck that you can take at kind of any table just because like it's really good at popper table obviously um and then you can take it at casual tables because it's 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 playing a lot of like the creatures that flicker already like regular flicker already plays the straight and incident so of value kind of, yeah, like you're kind of doing the same thing as anything, and then it has the Drake combo as your finisher, and eventually you draw into your Drake combo and you kill people. Yeah. So like it it, it it's ne it'll never win on the board. It's never going to win on a board against eighteen <laughs> three three Daleks with menace, but it'll try. It'll get it'll it'll, it'll try to dis disarm the robots. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, there were eighteen maybe total, but yeah, like I'm I'm, I'm hyperbolizing. <laughs> totally. Uh, totally. <laughs> no, it was good. It was a fun game. Exactly. And we hit 12 o'clock, so it's perfect timing. Uh, so on that note, so we're going to go around the tables, uh, do a little signing out. So we'll start with you, Meg. Uh, say the whole nine yards and promote whatever you fancy. I'm Megan. I'm the creator of Infinitoken's Dry Erase Tokens. These little guys you can see here with my terrible drawing of a Dalek. I'm a real artist, but I don't <laughs> do a good job on my dry erase drawings <laughs> or people like oh that looks good i'm like no no i can do better than that I, i'm a better artist than this i swear <laughs> um you can find me at infinitokens.com you can pick up your own we've got dry erase cards dry erase counters and dry erase tags and soon to have dry erase deck box labels i don't have one within reach but they'll be online soon enough sweet you can find me at the Very summit cool. next week you I'm have a timestamp of when the labels get like a rough estimate of when the right after Summit. Okay. They'll be available at Summit. Yeah, yeah, I think it's my last books. I'm gonna buy it the second they come available, so <laughs> <laughs> that's why, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, it's mostly just coordinating with having everything like where they get shipped and just mm -hmm. making sure they can go out and it doesn't interrupt uh interrupt the flow. Yeah. But yep, I'll be at the summit and there'll be a booth there and I will be there for a very long time. So I'm going to be if you see me, uh bring snacks because I'm gonna be tired. They're sixteen hour <laughs> days. Nat Giraffe and Nat is amazing. Yeah. She is going to be helping me so I can actually like take a break and you know go pee and stuff and maybe eat some food. That's good. That's good. She's awesome. So, that's you go to the summit every year or just this year? Well, there's only been two. This is the, only the second year of the summit. So we're. I loved the summit last year. I had a great time. This year, I don't know how it's going to be. So we'll find out. Wait, right I'm uh, <laughs> hoping for the best. Yeah. Cool. Right. On to you, buddy. Uh, I'm Buddy Fish. Uh, I'm on. Uh, Twitter for now. I start slowly starting up my Blue Sky account, um, and I'm on Discord. Uh, all of which is Buddy Fish, not with two Ds, with one D. <laughs> um, and I do primarily popper stuff. Uh, I'm coming up at the start of November. I'm playing in um, Sanctuary PDHs. Uh, their whatever their like Ever Month League thing. Um, if you ever want to talk about popper EDH. If you ever want to talk about competitive EDH or Canlander, um, just like shoot me a message. I'll get back to you when I can, and we can have a nice discussion. If you ever want to help deck building, I love deck building. I have so much fun with it. Um, so if you ever want to like just talk about magic and talk about deck building, just uh, hit me up, and that's it. Good stuff. Um, I am Lobert. You can find me on Twitter at Lobert8. Mostly I am on YouTube. Um, I'm also going to, be going to be playing in the Sanctuary PDH tournament i'm really super psyched for that um usually i am playing pdh uh this is the one time i've ever probably <laughs> been on camera not playing pdh i guess other than popper uh but yeah check out check out my stuff and on that note ironically as will i be at the, the sanctuary <laughs> <laughs> place to be yep um yeah. so keep an eye out for that uh it's gonna be on bobby fine's page i said i'll be posting up as well a billion times over uh, so on that note, thank you everyone for joining in. Thank you for all the follows. That we we are not at the 500 yet, but we're very 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 close. So appreciate that 100 times over. Uh, we're gonna raid over because I still have people watching me, which is always awesome. So we're gonna raid over to Lion because they are on stream right now and got to hang out with them over in Vegas. And they're good peoples. So on that note, everyone have a great night now. Peace. Have a good one. Have a good night. And then we have to awkwardly wait 10 seconds because that's how this works because it's not an instant raid. Oh, nice. You I need use, those. Uh, Sharpie on it, but then you use dry erase marker. Oh, it. beautiful. Oh, I'm so down for that. So I have to label all my decks because I will not remember what any of them are. Oh, I, I prefer labeling them that way too. So I, like, I was going to do that for Vegas. But then I, I the, the stuff that I got was just not the right kind of stickiness. So the fact that you're doing this is like mint. <laughs> 
Plus, they're not uh, the the paper stickers, so if you have to take it off, it's not gonna have. You know how like the paper stuff gets left behind? It's yep. not gonna have. That. Okay, I am hmm. stoked. Especially if it's something like this, it should come off easily. Pretty easily, yeah. Residue. I would say I can't promise no residue, but I haven't had any issues with it, so. Sweet. Well, I would look on look out for that because I am super excited for that stuff. All right. So on that note, it's bedtime for the with me and the babies now. So thank you all. Appreciate yeah. it tons, and you have a great evening. Yeah, it was wonderful playing with you all. Okay, have a good one. All right, ciao. Have a good one. Plus two plus zero. See, this is what I love doing. Sport games never enough. Yeah. Uh, the rest will stay in exile. I've got five bulls. I'm not going to be attacking with any of them. I have Audric, Vitali, and Urbrask, and a stolen strategy in play. And that's all I'm going to do. My turn's up. Okay. That was quite the turn. Uh, we.